So we're one day on from Yavse. Um It was freaking awesome. I think it's probably the best organized race, uh, national race I've done in Sweden. What's up? What are you doing now? Um, so yesterday I uh, just like thought I was gonna just graze a tree and I actually like the tree. That's this life-threatening injury. Um, so I feel a bit stiff, so I'm gonna go and do a lap of the two and a half K XC track here and just try and loosen up the body a bit. And then go for some laps. But we've got all day practice today and then the race doesn't start until four o'clock tomorrow. So a bit lost of like how to approach it. So I'll see in a bit. I managed to get a lap of the XC loop in, which actually turned out to be like seven kilometers and super fun. I then went and got in one run, getting warmed up, feeling it. Then I got the phone call to say that my frame had arrived. Been some toast. So, this is the bit that they've sent. Comes with pre-pressed bearings, which makes my life so much easier because I don't have a pull or a press. So it wasn't gonna be pretty what I was gonna do to try and get this to work. sure why but this seems to be going very well. Uh, the first two stages were completely fresh. They used, they paid some local motocross riders to just like rag it up the hill, snaking about all over the place just before the race. So then we turned up on some completely fresh tracks and uh, what a throwback to racing like the mini enduros in England in like 2014. <laughs> it was it was so so good. A really like insidey lump. Yeah. If you can get up on like next to the like painted green rock. Yeah. The one on the right of that. If you can go over that and go straight up that thing, that's going to be way better. Outside to inside. <laughs> Tell me a bit about stage two for the vlog. Uh, it's good, blow me, and some really stupid rocks. Felt like there was good flow on it second time round. Yeah. That fucking jump onto the grass. Yeah. You come in, into that last bit and you're like, right, Fuck. wop, 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 wop. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still like, if you give it loads of gas, it's still a big hock yeah. like, to get over the yeah. lump. And you get so high up in the air, you don't get the. Yeah. I was making all sorts of shapes getting up that. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to stage one and the, the climb was horrific it, it started off super nice it was just like tarmac and then the last bit was a really steep push then dropped into it and i knew i was like no one's strong on these first two tracks So I really, really attacked and it was going really well. And then I, I come into a corner that I've ridden a bunch of times and it just came in like, I guess, slightly faster in the race run and, and a slightly different line talking 100 mil and just caught this route and just gone, game over. Uh, so I jumped back on the bike uh, and continued attacking and for like reference of like how good that run was going my position at the end of that stage 27 and the position on the last three stages where i felt like i had a really good run like in the park was also 27. but it's nice to know that that pace is there and and to like be in the run and, and even though it was super stressed earlier in the day just like managed to attack in the race run and that felt solid so that was fun yeah. 
good. Took a tumble. Oh no. So it came into stage two, I was like, okay, it's not end of the world, you've lost a few seconds, but you can gain that back through the rest of the day. Dropped into two and on the attack, was feeling it, and then snapped my chain maybe 150 meters in. And it's, uh, I looked for the link, uh, the split link, I saw one drop out, so I picked up one, couldn't find the other, and then just rolled the rest of the track. And it was, yeah, that one sucked a little bit, but you knew at that point, you're like, your day's over, like, you, you know, that's kind of it. Oh, full snapper. You bastard. You don't have any more chains? No. Did you look? So stage three was the first like clean run of the entire day for me. Uh, it was fun. It is a fun track. You start from just by the lift house. You got this massive like rock roller thing that lasts for well, it's like the first 20 seconds of the track. And really fast over these rocks. Then you drop into the track called Itsy Bitsy, which what a track! Like what a track! And the crowds in there were insane. There's so much love for the riders and it's just a track with these like tight little corners but like little hops into them and you can just go like, bosh 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 it's like so much fun double in it that I just didn't do and I can't believe I didn't do it and then this one like was really smart they used three I think it's three maybe even four tracks like in the park where you like crossed into different sections so that was super fun and I felt quite happy on that that track again the crowds in there were incredible like so much love for the riders it was so good Then stage five. Oh man. Well, that was a sketchy moment. Also a sketchy moment. Spicy little nugget. The crowds on that track were awesome and you drop into the finish line and there's like 200 people there man so much fun <laughs> hey. that was fun wasn't it like stoked for all the boys like Everyone had a couple of moments, like everyone had some crashes through the week, ever, but like all the lads came out of it okay. Uh, yeah. Mateus smashed it with a four team, which is just insane. His first two enduro races on 21st and 14th, which is just so, so happy for him. Uh, Mateus, Hampus and I were, were lapping together and really 
keeping each other's spirits up after the first two stages because each one of us had a crash in there so that was cool what's next alvika no levy which is an ews gold qualifier i would say so far on this trip i've not had the best luck with in terms of uh like mechanics on the bike i feel like my riding has been relatively solid given everything that's going on i've had maybe 15,000 meters of descending in, in just over a week and, and there's been one crash so you know that's I'm okay with that <laughs> keep following the channel the race videos will be dropping constantly as soon as like the day after the race they will be going online and then the vlogs will be following soon after so thank you for all the support so far. Recently reached 150 followers, which is awesome. If you know anyone that likes listening to a kind of lost Englishman rambling about Sweden and doing some races, then hook them up. Thanks very much, everyone. Peace out. So we're one day on from Yevse. Yevse. Yavse. I want to say Yavse, but I'm pretty sure it's Yevse. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. God, that series sucks. This is where I'm going to talk, and I want to know if it looks good. 